Good morning and welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Monday, the 21st. Guys, it is the 21st of November 2022. Our full moon is on Wednesday. So if you did not make your moon water during the eclipse, go ahead and get your jars out there. Collect, uh, um, fill, fill them up with water. Speak what you need the universe to give to you into that water and set it out in the moonlight. Set it out Tuesday night. Pick it up Wednesday night. All right. All right. Let's start today off with a blessing. Dear universe, dear creator, dear spirit guides, please give us the collective a blessing for this Monday morning, the 21st of November. Look at this. We get Lord Ganesha and a crystal clear blessing. You are soon blessed with great clarity. Your destiny is calling and your soul is shining its infinite wisdom. You are blessed, protected, and guided in all you do from this moment forward. Namaste. Let me read this one more time, guys. Open up your hearts. Receive this blessing. This is a blessing of things coming to you. A crystal clear blessing. You are soon blessed with great clarity your destiny is calling and your soul is shining its infinite wisdom you are blessed protected and guided in all you do from this moment forward now stay all right y'all all right i have got some uh great questions don't have a lot of them and guys remember this channel is viewer driven. If I don't get questions from you guys, I don't have a show to do. So guys, please, whatever you would like answers to, please drop them into the uh, comment box below this video. All right. My first, the first thing, I, it's not a question. I'm going to discuss this right now The uh, in China. And if you guys have, are, not aware of this and I don't know if the mainstream media is covering this or not but guys China is still on lockdown from COVID-19 they shut down the apple plant on the 2nd of November because there was a massive outbreak of COVID-19 forcing this uh, forcing them to lock down the entire company which means people were stuck there people were trying literally trying to escape before they locked them in there. Things that are going on in the world that we are not being, uh, that we are not privy to. Guys, this is why we have got to be aware of what is going on. This is why I implore you, read your news, read international news so that you're not just getting your news from one source. Uh, um, diversify where you get your news from so that you get a full story instead of a targeted story. But guys, this happened at the Apple iPhone company, outbreak of COVID-19, the original jam, okay? This has not gone away. These people are being subjected to inhumane treatments. So, and I just, I just need everybody to understand that what is going on over there, you know, the, the Chinese have had their people on lockdown since 2020. Every time there is a new case, they lock down the city. This is more than just control. Guys, understand, all right? People are fleeing running, trying to get away so that they are not trapped inside of buildings. Because when they become trapped inside of those buildings, they may or may not get fed. Okay? And if someone dies while those doors are locked, then the people who are there have to deal with those bodies. Okay? 
and and I'm just I'm just picking your interest to broaden your horizons guys understand the world is a big place and every country is needs every other country to survive and I am talking about China and the Apple iPhone because China makes 99% of our products if the nation goes down if China goes down and they're already facing bankruptcy people are dying people are sick when you have sick people and people who are dying people aren't work working in your factories when people aren't working in your factories then your goods and services are not being produced when your goods and services are not being produced that causes a supply and demand whole shift what happens when supply um, supply dips and demand raises prices go up and we are already in a manufactured recession okay the writing is on the wall guys again preparedness is the word that we need to be living in again this is not to to scare anybody these are things that are actually going on we cannot get away from the fact that these things are going on okay and this whole show is going to be interesting y'all all right so i just wanted to start that off to to just open your mind to understand that the place that produces 99 percent of our goods is in a perpetual state of lockdown still dealing with the original jam of covid 19 while the rest of the world water supplies are drying up i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep talking about the mississippi river this is important while the prices are still going up, supply and demand will fluctuate. <clears throat> Prepare. Next question. Next statement. Twitter's lockdown. Okay. Uh, Elon announced yesterday that he is uh, letting Kanye and 45 back on the platform. Exactly what I told y'all he was going to do way back when he first said he wanted to buy it and that was the whole reason he wanted to buy it but guys understand this twitter the the the, the purchase of twitter the acquisition of twitter is much more than just giving 45 a platform to run on guys twitter will become a uh, 45's war room this is where they are going to be plotting their, their next moves. The platforms that they were using, uh, True Social, Mike Lindell's, you know, all these uh, uh, jumper, trooper, whatever, these dark web uh, uh, right-wing conspiracy uh, platforms. Twitter is going to be the new number one right-wing conspiracy theory platform this is going to be your war room for the right wing to plot their attack on america and uh um on america i'll just put it that way all right so um we know that he's losing money but again like i said on friday all these people competing to get back on the platform so that when it collapses, they can have the last tweet. And that's what's going on now. I have actually seen people I respect encouraging people to re-up to Twitter. Can't do it, guys. Do not support the beast. Do not. And guys, It's, it's up to you, but I'm going to say it this way. It may be a good time to jump ship, to, to abandon that platform before it collapses, before it sucks down, because it's, it's going to be like a vortex. It is going to suck a whole lot of people who already have questionable um, ideologies. It is going to give them a place to completely organize 
Elon took it off the market. Not publicly traded anymore, guys. Which means he can let you say anything you want to say on there. FCC has no control over Twitter anymore because it is a private platform, not a public platform platform. Understand this. Public and private. It means something. The FCC cannot regulate Elon or what he says or does or allows to happen on his platform. Expect for all these right wing one percenter groups like the Proud Boys, the one percenters or whatever they're called. Freak. Even the KKK. All right. All of these people will have a foothold on this platform because it is not regulated by the FCC. And you can say whatever you want to say on that platform without fear of the government coming after you. That's what uh, Elon has uh, created. Pandora's box is what Twitter is. And I just need for everybody to be in complete understanding of what is going on. All right, my next question, or my next thing I'm gonna talk about, because these aren't really questions. Again, I didn't get very many of them, y'all. 45's loans are all coming due. We was talking about this way back in 2020, right before the pandemic hit. 45's personal loans are coming due, a bunch of them at one time. Him throwing his hat in the ring for president serves more than one purpose. Not just him trying to protect himself from prosecution, but to give himself an avenue to make as much money as humanly possible before the Fed sh slam the door shut on him, okay? Because now he, he's in the perfect storm. Whether or not you think he goes to prison or whether or not he does go to prison, what's real is that money that he owes to all these financial institutions that these big, huge loan amounts are coming due. And guys, they will not take a horse as payment. They will not take a house as payment. No, they want their finances. The money that they gave, they want back with the interest that they gave it to you with. 45 don't have that money. Letitia James is making sure 45 don't have that money. She is trying to make sure that she puts a stop to his income in New York so that he cannot be flubbing stuff and making under the hand, under the table deals. Okay? This is, again, this is not a question. This is a statement. I'm just bringing y'all up to speed on what's going on so that you understand all the, the mechanisms of all the things that are, that are, that are happening here. Okay? Because um, this is about timing. I believe his, his, his loans are due the beginning of 2023. So that's why, you know, he waited till a week after the election to announce his uh, his run uh, for president again. And he did it in that lackluster style because he lost. He couldn't change the game plan. He thought that he would be making that speech after his uh, candidates had won and after they had the majority in the in the House and they had taken the Senate back. But that didn't happen. No, he lost again. Again, this is the third election that 45 has lost for his base. But he could not change the game plan. He could not change it, even though he lost all, all, I believe, except for one of his candidates, lost. And it may be all, because I think they were holding out on Kerry Lake. And she lost, okay? So understand what's going on here with 45. Money is due. He needs to be as loud as possible, reach as many people as possible, Why Elon is working with him to give him his own platform, to give it right back to him. 
so Twitter be can become Trumpler. Okay, because that's what it's going to be. It is going to become a cesspool, a toilet for the right wing. That is exactly what Twitter is about to become. Guys, abandon ship now. Get off of it before it sucks you down with it. It is about to become like a stormtrooper freaking thing. Get off while you can. Get off before it takes your sanity with it. My, my first question is from Jules C. Will, this one, we're going back and forth, okay? We're going, this one is about Sh Shanquella Robinson who was murdered while vacationing with friends. And I do believe her friends came home and just was without her. But there is a video that has surfaced of uh, Shanquilla getting beat by a female in looks like a hotel room. But somebody's filming this from across the room. And this was a vicious beating. And then this woman winds up dead. Uh, Jules would like to know, will there be justice for Shanquella Robinson? And I'm going to take it a little bit further, and I'm going to ask the universe, spirit guides, Shanquella, speak through me if you would like to. Give me clarity. Will there be justice for Shanquella Robinson? Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, the first thing that I'm feeling is that the reason that she was killed, guys, this is, and this is, this is horrible because this is, they took, and I say they because this is more than one person's, one person. This is jealousy that turned into rage. This is, I have to say this, beware, beware of people. Beware of people who pretend to be your friend and you have an if you have any suspicion that a person that you are with has ill intent for you stay away from that person and I'm saying this because uh Shanquella is kind of telling me that her girlfriend that, she, that was her best friend forever or so she thought is the person that did this to her the person that she thought she could trust most in the world, she did this to. And this whole thing is about, um, and I just have to say taking, taking. You took my man, you took my stuff, you always taking my stuff, you always, you're always after what I got. And this is what Shanquella was being accused of by the other female that she was, she was taking from her. Shanquella was not, and I and I have to say that she was not, uh, she was not stealing nor was she taking. The person who did this, this was her insecurity. This was her misgivings. This was her not being able to keep a man because of the way that she is. Messy, nasty, two-faced, mentally ill even, but to a devious extent. This is a person who who would make you feel like you're the best person ever on your birthday and bring you the biggest gift. But as soon as they, your guests leave, this is the same person who when you get dressed up to go out saying, oh, you gonna wear that? That's a little tight. You kind of look fat and it's not in a nice way. But then they'll say, but I'm your best friend. I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't love you. And you, you're looking in the mirror knowing you're looking good. And they're telling you that you're not looking good. Because they're jealous of the way that you look. And they don't want you to look better than them. Or surpass them. This is what happened in Shanquella's relationship with this other female. This other female presented herself as Shanquella's friend. This other person constantly nitpicked. Very, very... um. Oh, what's the word? Um, well, kind of just underhanded, sneakily, passive aggressively. Pick that Shanquella. Oh, you gonna wear that? Oh, you gonna eat that? Oh, well, your man cute, but my man is cuter. This was 
pettiness and jealousy. This is literally a page right out of the book, Mean Girls, okay? If you've ever seen that movie, this is what Shanquilla was dealing with while she was on vacation with her so-called friends. And the answer to Jules's question, will Shanquilla get justice? Yes, Shanquilla is going to receive justice. Yes, she will, and her family will be compensated for it. Not very much because the person that killed her is a broke person herself. But another person who was on vacation with them is going to tell the entire story. So, and this may be the person who videotaped it because that is an eyewitness to the murder. And guys, it was a murder. It was, we could say it was an accidental murder but it was an intentional act that caused the accidental murder. Okay, and then they tried to hide the evidence. This is all going to come out. Shanquilla was murdered by her friend because her friend was jealous of her. This is, and it's the, the stupidest way to die is because of somebody else's pettiness and jealousy because of the way that they see themselves. Not because of anything that Shanquilla did. This was this is all the brokenness in that one person who called herself her best friend. Who called herself her best friend. Okay. But her best friend is anxious right now because she sees the hammer's gonna coming for her. But guys, it, everybody who has ever had to deal with this person knows she's a narcissist. She's a narcissist and a half, and she has a way of making people be on her side by force and manipulation. And then when you try to be your own self or you speak out against her, she turns the whole group against you. Yeah, that uh, Jules Shankola Robinson will receive justice, but now everybody kind of knows what happened, okay? Guys, if you have funny feelings about your friends, if you really don't think that they're your friends, that they're your real good friends, somebody that always says they're your friend but always makes you feel bad about yourself, they ain't your friend. Be aware of them. All right. My next question is from Edwina Stevens. Bill Gates bought a bunch of land um, and I, I don't know if, 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 if Edwina's was asking if it was to grow GMO properties or what. But let me tell you this. Bill Gates buying up a whole bunch of land should give everybody some pause. Why? What was our, in, our, our constitution? Who was our constitution made for? Wealthy landowners. So you can only be a part of the ruling class if you own land. And he who owns the most wins. So Bill Gates is buying up private farms, farms that are struggling. Um, in the past, private farms were the majority of farm farmland owned. Uh, big business and huge entities were not in the farming business not large scale. Now they're going to be in the farming business large scale. Okay? Bill Gates is buying land because land is money. Land is power. And he who owns the land gets to make the rules. So all of these richy, rich, rich, rich folks who are buying property are sealing their existence here. If you own land, keep it. If you own land, keep it. If you have no land and you can get some, buy it. Okay? Don't matter how big or how small, buy it. If you want to be an entity, after it's all said and done, you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to own something. If you're renting, you could find yourself in a in a world of hurt. If you have the, the, the ability, doesn't matter how big or how small it is, buy yourself a little piece of land if you can. 
or try to hold on to the land that you have for a little while, okay? Won't be forever, but you're going to need it in the short run, okay? And I'm going to get to why in just a, in a few minutes. So, Edwina, let's see, Bill Gates, um, he's, he, um, let's see if, that's, if he is buying the land so that he can grow GMO, yeah. But what I said first is already the top of this. Guys, this is the first card that came out. The Nine of Pentacles. This is all about the Benjamins. Money, 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 money. He who owns has. He who has um, is the one who makes the loss. And this is where Bill Gates is. But this is also about the farming as well. Okay, so here, let me just count the yeses that we got. Is Bill Gates doing this for money? Okay, that's four yeses, possible five out of ten cards. I'm sorry, out of eight cards. So, yeah, Bill Gates may be buying that land to farm GMO food as, as well. Foods that can grow with less water and higher heat because that's what's going to happen and that's why most farms are failing right now. But yes, Edwina. Bill, bought Ga Bill Gates bought land to grow GMO foods and to secure his spot in the upper echelon as a wealthy land owner. All right. Now... Before I get to this last one, I'm going to keep on be and go through all of these before I get to this last question, the last part of this question. Okay, my next question is from Norma Bro, and Norma would like to know, why did Mitch McConnell vote no against interracial marriage when he himself is in an interracial marriage? And guys, for you younger ones out there who don't know, interracial marriage was illegal until 1967. The Loving Act passed through the civil court that took the, uh, the illegality of interracial marriage. And understand, interracial marriage was only illegal in three places. That was Nazi Germany, the United States, and colonized Africa. Okay? Colonized Africa. Nazi Germany and the United States. Out of the whole wide world, those were the only three places that made it illegal for people who didn't have the same tint of skin color, because that's what it comes down to, to get married. All right? So just, just understand that. All right. Why did Mitch McConnell vote against interracial marriage when he is in one? Oh, because his handlers told him that's what he is supposed to do. He doesn't, it, whether he agrees with what he does or not makes absolutely no difference because these people don't work for themselves. They, well, they do work for themselves. They don't work for us. They work for themselves, but they are working for bigger entities. Okay. For corporations, for corporations, for corporations, because that is who they want the people to be, is the corporations. We have to understand a whole lot of things about where we live. There's a lot of things about the United States that we think is one way, but it is totally not. Okay? One thing that I have to say about interracial marriage is that there is no law on the books that says uh, 
that interracial marriage is a law. No, there's there's no law on the books. Just like there was no law on the books that said women can get a, a, a an abortion if they want to. This was just accepted. This is policy. We don't make laws no more in this land. We only make policy. Okay? So interracial marriage is a an accepted practice. A policy. Policies can be changed. Policies can be broken. This is what we're seeing happen with the Supreme Court right now. What we're what we're seeing is policies being overturned. Why? And this is going to be crazy, guys. But I really want to get through the whole thing before I get on this. But I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to. The United States. The United States of America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Is a corporation. A corporation that is owned by banks, insurance companies, and guess what country, y'all? The same ones that we tried to get our independence from with the Tea Party. Guess who still owns the United States of America? Not the, not the nation itself, but the bank, okay? The United States of America, we are not free citizens. We are not. We are collateral. We are what is being traded on the stock market. Everything we do that we have that we have been we have been lied to. We have been tricked. And the powers that be did this in a way to where it's not just the United States, it's the whole world. That paper money is worthless. Worthless. It's backed by nothing. Gold and silver, what it used to be backed by? No. The United States is it's not it's not no longer. Paper money is just printed as needed, has no value. Most of the countries in Europe are going bankrupt because of this who has the money you ask well it's a, it's a couple of different folks we, we'll start with the Vatican because if you want to know who the grand central bank is oh it's part of the Vatican okay insurance companies that's why they want you to have insurance you are a commodity all this stuff that is going on. Guys, since I already jumped into this, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say this and then and then I'm gonna get off of it because it just might be a little bit too much for one day. But I just need everybody to understand water is our currency, okay? Because without water, everything would stop. Water is our currency. We need water more than we need sunlight. Okay? We need liquid water. That is our currency. The U.S. Federal Reserve is located in Puerto Rico. Why? Why is it not in Washington, D.C. with everything else? No. No. It's in Puerto Rico, in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Because this is where the piracy is happening. The biggest trick that they ever did was get us to use paper money, our new paper money. Our old paper money was backed by the Federal Reserve. And it said that you could take that note into a bank and turn it into real money. The dollar bill is not real money. Okay? Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to scare y'all, but I am going to pique your interest. Hopefully some people will 
question me and go look things up for themselves, okay? The United States is a corporation. It is a company. And all of this stuff that's going on, and I, I've been saying this since 45 got into office, that that was a hostile takeover of DJT got into office by hostily, ta hostily taking over the United States. Broke the system, changed the rules, policy, made himself president. He didn't get reelected again, thank goodness. But now he's running again. Another attempted hostile takeover of the company that is known as the United States of America. The U.S. is owned by Britain still. The powers that be make their money through war. Economies around the world are collapsing. What do you think the ultra rich is going to do next to keep themselves in money? Okay, prepare. Prepare. And guys, if you want to know where I'm getting any of this information from, I'll tell you. It's right here on YouTube. You can you can look at this. It's a it's a it's a um it's a five hour documentary. But I tell you what, it's worth sitting through every second of it. It is called the Secret Life of Symbols. Secret Life of Symbols, and it's by Jordan Maxwell. Guys, even if you just listen to it before you're going to sleep and just let it play while you're sleeping and you wake up and you 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 will you will you will pay attention once you understand how the United States government works and how they have monetized every one of us. We are the product of the United States. Okay? They want us to keep working so that we can, can keep paying them. Because they take our money to give to the rich through the taxes. Yes. Our roads ain't. Guys, watch this movie. Watch it. Just watch it. I'm not I'm gonna get off of that now. Secret Life of Symbols by Jordan Maxwell. You will have an eye-opening experience about the land that we live on and why things are the way they are. And I guarantee you, as soon as you watch this you will understand everything, okay? All right, my next question, or should I say my last question, is from Genealogy Junkie. So this is a short one, guys. So Genealogy would like to know, okay, we are, we are expected to have some serious earthquakes, guys, some earthquakes that are going to damage infrastructure. We are in for it. When they're coming, I don't know. That they're coming, I do know, okay? How far across the United States it's going to go, again, unsure. But knowing that it will traverse across the United States, it will, okay? So the where's are shady, but the that it's going to happen is not. This is about preparedness. Now, Genealogy Junkie would like to know, Will the United States have to give aid to another country because of earthquake damage? We give aid to all of our allies any time that they are in need, just like we expect our allies to help us when we are in need. So yes, genealogy junkie, in the event that something catastrophic happens off of our shores, the United States will help our allies, just like we expect our allies to assist us if if the earthquake happened here. Um, guys, we even, we help Mexico. You know, Mexico, when there's big earthquakes and things going on, we send aid to Mexico. And when things go bad here, Mexico sends aid to us, okay? They are our allies, so is Canada. So, um, 
we all, this, this one hand washes the other. One hand holds the other. So yes, genealogy junkie. In the event of a catastrophic earthquake, the allies will be trying to help each other. But in the interim, if we all need to be prepared for these weather events that are happening, especially this week. Guys, if you do not watch Ryan Hall, y'all, or um, uh, Dutch Sense, please watch those two channels. Just check them out on Monday mornings of no other time, just so you can see what's expected through the week. Um, Ryan Hall, y'all, is a weatherman, and he tracks the big storms. Um, guys, this store, the storm that hit Buffalo is not over by any stretch of the imagination. Right now, the, the, the whole thing is just taking a breather right now, getting ready for the next round to come up. I told y'all about that polar, uh, polar vortex. Guys, this week of Thanksgiving and the week after Thanksgiving, if you are in a place that snows, please go to the store today buy you some candles if you buy a generator if you, I don't care what kind of generator it is a battery uh, backup power or a gas generator but get you something learn how to condense a room to keep people warm we're going to lose power a lot of places are going to lose power when it is going to be absolutely frigid. Prepare now. Please. Look out for your homeless brothers and sisters. This, the next week and a half, this week, next week, two, two and a half weeks. Please, if you are a person of means, that could secure rooms for homeless people in hotels. If you if or if you are a person who has a warehouse that is general that has generator backup that you could put people in. Please. Guys, we need to start making plans on how not only we can survive this winter, but how we can help our unhoused brothers and sisters survive this winter. Thank God, thank God if you're blessed to be inside. Thank God if you're blessed to be inside. But know that we have hundreds of thousands of mothers, fathers, children on the street, in cars, in tents, sleeping on cardboard boxes, on the side of the road that have absolutely no place to go. Blankets, tarps, whatever you can. Mobilize, be a help where you can. Okay guys, this is all about, it's about us now. It's about us taking ourselves out of all this nastiness in politics and considering what is really important. Life and liberty, love and happiness is what is important. Let's be good to each other. I love you. Okay, guys, again, Oh, I forgot to talk about cryptocurrency. I'll have to talk about that on Wednesday. All right. Okay, guys. But again, if you get the opportunity, please watch a secret, The Secret Life of Symbols by Jordan Maxwell. It's an eye-opening experience, especially if you are an American, because then you will understand how we got to where we are and you will understand why things are going the way that they are. I love you guys. I love you. I need questions for Wednesday's or early bird show. And on Friday, the 25th, I will be live with Johnny from Tarot's Apprentice. I need questions for um, that uh, show as well, guys. So please, guys, flood me with questions. Flood me with questions. Whatever you need an answer to. I will ask. 
I will ask my God and we'll see if we can get an answer for you. All right? I love you. I love you. Happy Monday. Be brave. Be a helper. Be your best self. Namaste, y'all. Namaste. Bye-bye.